I have no words. What on earth did Camille Heron think she was doing? Trail and ultra running is one of the fastest growing sports in the world. You just need to look at the number of 100 mile races there were 20 years ago compared to now. But within that huge growth is a core community with about two degrees of separation. It's a community built on the fundamentals of trail running ethos. That the trails are there for us all to enjoy. That ultra running is about freedom an exploration of the self as well as the world around us and that we encourage support and inspire our fellow runners yes we are there sometimes to race and compete against others as well as ourselves but somehow in ultra running quite often that competition comes secondary to the main event which is simply the joy and the thrill of running and running in incredible places with inspiring people. How often do we see runners sharing miles or hours or even days on the trails together and then perhaps crossing the line arm in arm or sharing in the success of your fellow runner? It's ultra running's raison d'etre. Which is why it's so incredibly disappointing when runners who are supposed to be part of that community exhibit contrary behaviour. We've all heard the stories of runners cheating, perhaps cutting corners in a race like Kelly Agnew, or getting in a vehicle like Rob Young or Josiah Zakurski, or indeed making up GPS data like Kate Carter. But often cheating like that can be a spur of the moment thing, a bad judgment call. And whilst yes, some runners might perhaps lose a position or maybe an age group win or a podium spot, ultimately those cheats are simply cheating themselves. Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? What's so unfathomable about the actions of Camille Heron and her husband is the apparent planning and systematic destruction of the reputations and achievements of other athletes going back perhaps years. Before we get into exactly what's been going on if you're finding this video useful interesting disturbing or bizarre then please do help us out by subscribing to the film my run channel that'd be much appreciated click the like button and share this video with any of your friends who might be interested in the story so what has Camille Heron actually been accused of doing According to an article published in Canadian Running on September 23rd, 2024, Camille Heron and her husband Connor Holt have been found to have altered the Wikipedia pages of several fellow ultra runners dating back to 2017. Specifically, Heron has been degrading the achievements and performances of runners like Courtney DeWalter and Killian Jornet, removing statements like widely regarded as one of the best trail runners ever from their Wikipedia pages, justifying it as removing puffery apparently, which is a great phrase. But simultaneously, she's then been adding similar statements to her own Wikipedia entry. Originally, Heron and Holt were using an account called Tempo Run 73 until it was banned by Wikipedia for violating its conflict of interest policy. But within hours of that ban, a new account was created called uh, Rund Bowie, and Heron's page and the pages of other athletes were then updated with that account. Notable deletions made by that account have been found on the pages of 2018 Boston Marathon winner Des Linden, ultra running legend Janis Kouros, and Danish ultra runner Steen Rex, whose 48 hour and six day records were wiped by Heron after she had bettered her records. These accusations haven't come out of thin air either. Both of Heron's Wikipedia accounts had been flagged on numerous occasions for violations and abuse of their terms and conditions. One warning stated, Wikipedia is a factual source of content, not a promotional platform for athletes. Email and IP addresses have been traced back to both Holt and Heron and monitoring of their Rund Bowie account shows no activity at all during Heron's six day world record attempt between March the 2nd and March the 12th and then plenty of activity either side of those dates. 
These are not trite accusations. You're goddamn right. Camille Heron, rather than celebrate fellow ultra runners' successes, especially those of other strong women in the community, has chosen to denigrate them and downplay their achievements, whilst at the same time attempting to elevate her own status. These are the actions of a bully, but also those of an insecure individual with low self-esteem and self-worth. One wonders whether she got the love and support she needed in childhood, or whether she was constantly told that she wasn't good enough. Okay, look, I'm not a real doctor, but don't worry about it, because I'm gonna give it my best shot. With the growth of the sport and big money sponsors, there's a huge amount of pressure on the modern elite ultra runner to perform form at the highest level and sometimes as we saw at UTMB this year that pressure can lead to anxiety and stress enough to overwhelm anyone but it's a marker of your character as a person as to how you cope with that pressure and how you manage your mental health when the going gets tough. Some people bounce back stronger, some are consistently positive and use setbacks as a learning experience. Others lose their confidence and need the help of their peers to support them through. Others reject that help and take their frustrations out on their loved ones and the wider community. You want to hurt me? Go right ahead if it makes you feel any better. I'm an easy target. Who knows exactly what's been going on in Camille Heron's head and what led her to believe it was okay to try to actively damage the reputation of people with whom she should have an affinity, a shared bond of experience and love for the sport of ultra running. It leaves a sour taste in the mouth and I really wouldn't want to be in Camille's shoes the next time she toes the start line of a race. If she felt unloved and in insecure before, it's not going to get any easier anytime soon. If you would like to hear my thoughts on the strange events at UTMB this year, then click that link right there. If you're not subscribed to the Film My Run channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that now. And I will see you guys on the start line next time. Take care. Bye bye.